very nice day everyone, this is Vanessa and here is ASEAN News with some of the latest news for you. Shanana Guzman participated in the 43rd ASEAN Summit in Jakarta, Indonesia. The 43rd opening ceremony of ASEAN Annual Summit in Jakarta, Indonesia on Monday, 4th of September 2023 was attended by all the 11 members of ASEAN as well as Timorese Prime Minister Shanana Guzman and delegation where Timor Leste in the position as an observer. The 43rd ASEAN Summit with its theme ASEAN Matters, Epicentrum of Growth, held with a photo session and a plenary. The Indonesian President and the current ASEAN Chairperson Joko Widodo emphasized ASEAN member countries must continue to be solid face the challenges that emerged at the regional level. Serta yang mulia. As well as Excellency Shanana Guzman, Timor Leste's Prime Minister, welcome to join the great ASEAN family. We are aware of the current world challenges where the main key to face it is the unity and the centrality of ASEAN. Dan centralitas ASEAN. During the meeting, ASEAN member countries discussed the development and cooperation efforts of ASEAN with partners. The summit was attended by head of states and head of governments from 20 countries, and it lasts for three days from 5 to 7 of September 2023. Shanana Guzman and Jokowi discussed the bilateral cooperation of both countries. Jakarta, 4th of September 2023, Shanana Guzman, the Prime Minister of Timor-Leste, met with the Indonesian President Joko Widodo and discussed bilateral relations between Timor-Leste and Indonesia. On the meeting, Jokowi said, Indonesia continued to support Timor resources development and economic sector as well as Timor-Leste accession to ASEAN. Shanana and Jokowi also discusses about the land border issues between both countries. Jokowi praises his meeting with Shanana and congratulated the Timor Leste's head of government and his cabinet members, whom had just been appointed to form the ninth government. Shanana also thanked Jokowi for having invited Timor Leste to take part in the 43rd ASEAN Annual Summit in Jakarta, Indonesia. Timorese Prime Minister urges ASEAN members to support fragile state. Shanana Guzman, the Timor Leste's Prime Minister, urged all the ASEAN member states to support fragile state at the regional and global level and calls for maintaining the peace at regional level as well as continue to strive for general prosperity. Shanana stated this during the Business and Investment Forum of 43rd ASEAN Annual Summit, which took place on Monday, 4th of September 2023, in Jakarta, Indonesia. It ASEAN to look beyond our region and become part of a global network to support fragile states, where democracy and the human rights should be the basis of building peaceful states. Shanana also added that for Timor Leste's economic to grow well, it needs support of all ASEAN member states. Full membership of ASEAN will provide business and foreign direct investors the confidence and security to invest in Timor Leste. Attracting foreign direct investment is critical to grow in Timor Leste's economy, creating jobs, and to modernize and transform the economic structure of our nation. We also want to be part of ASEAN's people centered approach to grow and development. This approach has allowed wide participation and ownership of ASEAN affairs. It has helped. Increase per capita wealth, life expectancy, and health outcomes, lifting millions out of poverty. Timor Leste currently being included as the 11th member of ASEAN, nonetheless with an observer status. ASEAN was established on August 8, 1967, in Bangkok, Thailand, by five countries, which were Indonesia, Malaysia, the Philippines, Singapore, and Thailand.
Timorese Prime Minister holds bilateral meeting with Brunei Keen and the Vietnamese Prime Minister. On the second day of the ASEAN 43rd Annual Summit in Jakarta, Indonesia, the Timorese head of government, Karela Shanana Guzman, held a bilateral meeting with the King of Brunei Darussalam, Sultan Hassan al bolkiah to discuss the cooperation of both countries in the future. During the meeting, Shanana asked the Brunei King to support Timor-Leste in the health, education, petroleum, as well as other important sectors. In the response, the Brunei King also invited the Timorese Prime Minister to visit Brunei Darussalam. Shannon also had a bilateral meeting with the Vietnamese Prime Minister Phan Minh Chin in order to talk about both countries' cooperation. Shannon appreciated the efforts of the Vietnamese government to allow the Vietnamese telecommunication company, or Telemor, in order to invest in Timor Leste's telecommunications area, alongside with other existing telecommunications operator in the country. Shannon and Phan Minh Chin were also talked about how Vietnam can support Timor Leste in the agriculture sector in the future. ASEAN leaders kick off summit, seek unity and peace. The ASEAN leaders kicked off an annual summit in Indonesia's capital Jakarta amid rifts within the 10-member regional bloc over stalled peace efforts in Myanmar and a sharpening United States and China rivalry in the region. Speaking at the opening ceremony of the summit, ASEAN host and Indonesian president Joko Widodo urged his counterparts not to turn up sheep ASEAN into an arena of rivalries, but to instead use the group to create peace and stability in the region and for the world. We realize the world is not all right. Future challenges are becoming heavier, creating a race for power. Nevertheless, ASEAN has agreed to not be a proxy to any powers, to work together with anybody for peace and prosperity. Jangan jadikan kapal kami. Don't turn our ship ASEAN as an arena for rivalries that cause mutual destruction. Instead, use this ASEAN ship as an arena for cooperation to create prosperity, to create stability, to create peace, not only for the region, but for the world. Bagi kawasan, tapi juga bagi dunia. The bloc is seeking to clarify its relevance as cracks emerge in its response to the conflict in Myanmar, where the military seized power in a bloody coup in 2021. Jokowi said five-point Myanmar peace plan will remain ASEAN's guideline to solve the conflict in Myanmar. Joko Widodo, the Indonesian president, as well as current chairperson of ASEAN, said a peace plan agreed by the ASEAN will remain the guide for its approach to resolving the conflict in Myanmar. Regarding the implementation of the five-point consensus, I'd like to remind that the five-point consensus is the ASEAN's collective efforts as family that has been agreed upon by leaders of ASEAN in Jakarta on the 24th of April 2021, and the five-point consensus will remain as ASEAN's main guideline. Consensus akan tetap menjadi pedoman utama ASEAN. Indonesia, melihat sudah mulai... Indonesia has seen trust among stakeholders except for the military junta. This is the time ASEAN should keep pushing inclusive national dialogue as key to the resolution in the political crisis which Myanmar owned and Myanmar led. Myanmar owned dan Myanmar led. ASEAN has banned the junta leaders from its high-level meetings, but differences have emerged with Indonesia attempting to engage all sides to push an ASEAN peace plan and Thailand trying to engage Myanmar's military leaders. Canadian Prime Minister Trudeau says respects ASEAN centrality during regional summit. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau affirmed his support for the centrality of ASEAN, saying his nation and the ASEAN bloc share similar values. Speaking at the ASEAN Canada Summit in Jakarta, Trudeau emphasized the importance of transparency and understanding international rules to achieve growth. This partnership truly matters to us. Canada deeply respects the centrality of ASEAN to this region. Canada's Indo-Pacific strategy and ASEAN's outlook on the Indo-Pacific are aligned. We share clear commitments 
to peace and stability, openness and transparency, to development and economic cooperation, and to an understanding that international rules are essential for growth. Meanwhile, Trudeau said Canada also expects to finalize a free trade agreement with ASEAN following the launch of Canada-ASEAN strategic partnership. Trudeau is among a cohort of world leaders, including U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris and Chinese Premier Le Xiang, who will engage in the forums and meetings during the 43rd ASEAN Annual Summit in Jakarta, Indonesia. Australia and Japan to deepen relations with ASEAN. Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese and his Japanese counterpart, Fumio Kishida, said they will deepen cooperation with ASEAN in a bid to enhance security and stability in Southeast Asia. The centrality of ASEAN is vital to Australia's future because Australia and ASEAN are bound by more than an accident of geography or the virtue of history. We share a common belief in the opportunities of this region, the potential of our peoples, and we hold a common responsibility to advance stability, peace and prosperity for every nation that calls Southeast Asia home. Along with launching a wide range of cooperation initiatives in the political, security, economic, cultural and social areas, we will further promote individual cultural and regional exchange, as well as supporting Japanese language education. The pair was speaking at the ASEAN Indo-Pacific Forum, an event held on the sidelines of the 43rd ASEAN Annual Summit in Jakarta, Indonesia. Kishida and Albanese are among a cohort of world leaders, including Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and Chinese Premier Li Xiang, who will engage in forums and meetings during the 43rd ASEAN Annual Summit in Jakarta, Indonesia. China and ASEAN should jointly build economic growth center. Chinese Premier Li Xiang said China and ASEAN should work together to build an economic growth center, enhance interconnectivity, and deepen cooperation in industrial and supply chains for a closer China-ASEAN community with a shared future. Li made the remarks in Jakarta, Indonesia, while addressing the 26th ASEAN-China Summit, which was also attended by leaders of ASEAN countries and ASEAN observers Timor-Leste, as well as the ASEAN Secretary General. Li stressed that China is ready to work with ASEAN countries to uphold the original aspiration of the unity and self-improvement, advocate the spirit of win-win cooperation, and jointly build their common home. ASEAN countries are willing to work with China to further enhance mutual trust, strengthen synergy with the Belt and Road Initiative, deepen cooperation in various fields, jointly tackle climate change and other global challenges, and build an ASEAN-China community of shared future, said the leaders. The summit also announced that next year will be the China ASEAN Year of People to People and Cultural Exchanges. Well, that's the whole news for today, and we hope you enjoyed that. Have a lovely weekend, everyone. We will see you all again soon.